Hi guys, welcome to the video for updating the firmware on your G3 gimbal that comes with your Zugong V2 Pro. Uh, while it is branded an Immersion RC product, it is in fact a Fairtech G3 2-axis gimbal that comes with the uh, the Zugong. Um, basically what you're going to need, um, out of the box that comes with the gimbal, you're going to need the phantom mount, just the power board that comes with it. You're going to need the USB device and you're going to need the brown, white and black cable. You're also going to need a source of power. Um, this is the cable that comes with the Fairtech um, gimbal. Make sure you use this, make sure you don't get tempted to use one that is being used for your VTX because the red and the black are the wrong way round and you'll have real problems after that. Um, all I've done, because it's a bare ended wire, all I've done is I've got myself a little connector and I've put an XT60 plug on the, uh, on the end of it, a female plug. Uh, so we're going to be using that for power. The other thing, of course, you need is a battery. I'm using 4S. You can plug either a 3S or a 4S directly into this, no problems at all, and you're going to need to be able to do that. So to prepare the hardware, all you need to do, first we need to get our USB device and just plug the brown, black and white cable into the bottom of it. There's only one way it can go round. We're then going to need to remove from your Zugong the four-pin connector that goes to the, the uh, gimbal. So we unplug that. And that then needs to be plugged into this port on the phantom mounting plate, like so. And we'll just drop that down like that. OK, we can then plug our power cable in. Don't plug it into the battery yet. And we can plug our brown, white and black. Now what you want to make sure is that the brown is on the right hand side. So the brown goes nearest the power plug and we slide that in there okay so that's all now prepped now don't plug anything in yet don't power it on don't plug it into the computer at all yet we'll now move over to the computer and we've got to get a few things to download so head over to the Fairtech website so go to Google, type in Fairtech, and it's fair-tech.com when you get to their home page click on products and then we want the FYG3 gimbal with phantom mount Go to that page and then click on the download section. Don't click on the one at the top of the screen, click on the download section in the middle of the screen and you'll be faced with a bunch of options. The ones we want to pick from here, starting at the bottom upwards, we want the Fairtech new USB driver. So we will click on that and we will say save file. I'm using Firefox for this. Um, save, that's going to save in my downloads. Uh, we also want, you can get the manual if you want, but we also want the G3 2-axis firmware, uh, gimbal firmware download, and we want the G3 2-axis firmware V2.13, which is the current one at the time, and upgrade software. So this comes with the upgrade software, so you don't need to download it separately from the above. So we'll click on that, and again we'll say save. Now they do save as zipped files, so what you want to do is open your downloads, and you want to run them. I'm using a program called WinRAW, so I've already pre-installed this, but basically you want to extract the files to a location of your choosing. I'm going to extract them to my desktop. Um, I've already done it, so um, that's the process you need to follow. Just extract them to a place where you know where they are. So here we go, and you get two folders now. Now basically what you want to do, first and foremost, you want to go into the driver folder and open up CP210X VCP Windows. Double click on this. You'll then be faced with a choice of either installing 64-bit version or the 32-bit version, which says x86. Uh, how do you know which version you need? All you need to do, click on your Windows button if you're using Windows 7 or like me, using Windows 8 with um, a Windows 7 button. And we want to go to um, right-hand click sorry, on this PC and click properties and then you will see system type 64-bit operating system if it says 32-bit then obviously you're going to want the 32-bit version so I want the 64-bit version so if we double click on this it'll ask to install accept the agreement and then it'll install and that is good to go okay so close that next what we want to do is we want to go to the gimbal firmware v2.13 as it is at the moment Go into that folder and you'll see there's two folders now. There is a 2-axis gimbal firmware 2.13 and there is the update software. What we want to do is open up the update software. And before we actually run that software, this is the point now 
to get your USB device and plug it into your machine and you will see at the bottom of the screen, it won't do it on mine because it's already been pre-installed, you'll probably see installing new device, let it complete, um, if it asks you do you want to install this driver, say install um, and then that will all be installed ready to go. Next thing you want to do then is open up the software, so double click on that and you will be presented with this tiny little box here which is where we're going to be working from. Now if you don't see anything in this drop down then the driver hasn't installed properly so just go through that process again. Um, if you get a bunch of different things in here it means you've probably got a bunch of devices. To work out what COM port you're going to want to use all you need to do is go to your control panel and you need to go to device manager and underneath ports, so where it says ports brackets COM and LPT, you'll see Silicon Lab CP210X and brackets COM port number. So that is the COM port that you want. Don't need to fiddle about with any other settings. All you want to do is you now want to open this. Now this is where we want to choose our firmware file that we're going to be upgrading to. So when you do an update on the 2-axis gimbal from Fairtech, what you will notice is there's two types of firmware. One's called speed mode and one's called position mode. Um, if you look at the manual, you'll probably be completely confused. So um, the best thing to do is to demonstrate the two. What I've done here is I've flashed the firmware with 2.13 in speed mode. And what you'll see is this potentiometer switch is controlling the tilt of the gimbal. If I push it all the way forward, you will see that we can go all the way round to the point where we're actually looking upside down. If I pull it all the way back from here, it will instantly go all the way back around and finish there. However, notice the stopping points. If I move it and stop here, I am controlling how slowly it stops. If I adjust it like this it will do a very gentle pan and it won't stop panning until I put my mode knob into the central position. So if I want to tilt all the way forward and stop it I have to centralize it. So I can actually adjust it so it's doing a very slow movement but unless I stop it it will continue moving all the way through to the end of that movement put it back to centre and it stopped. Again move it forward and it will continue all the way until it tilts all the way around unless I stop it. You'll also notice that when you do stop it it's fairly abrupt so it will stop instantly unless you actually dial it back and do a manual slowdown and that is speed mode so this is a demonstration of the position mode rather than speed mode. As you can see the gimbal is completely straight. If I now pull my potentiometer all the way down you get a slow movement and a very slow deceleration and it stops not all the way round. If I pull it all the way back again a slow movement and a slow deceleration. If I just wanted to position say two-thirds, it remembers the final position and it does a nice slow deceleration. Back to middle and that's where that is. So that is position mode. So this is now, if I just go back to desktop, this is now in the folder for 2xs gimbal firmware, into that folder go actually into the firmware folder and that's where you're presented with the two various modes. I'm going to put it into speed mode and there you go so now it's filled out all of this so as at this point in time we haven't put any power to the gimbal whatsoever all we've done is we've opened the COM port, we've chosen the firmware file and it's given us all of this information. Now what we do is we head back over here and very simply grab your power supply and plug in your battery. And as soon as you do this you will see on the screen here it says link OK and it tells you the current version of firmware that is on the gimbal. So this is telling me that I have version 2.12 which is the version that came with the gimbal uh, out of the box from Immersion RC. And all you need to do to update the new version is click update. 
whilst you're doing the update it's going to send all of these blocks it will probably do two times usually up to 100 and then it will recycle to 100 again and as you can see once it's all done it will say send OK and that is everything done all you now need to do is close the COM port close the application unplug your gimbal from your power unplug your gimbal from your power distribution board which is easier said than done there you go and then you just got to plug it back in to your Zoogle And that is it. So that is you with an updated firmware version um, and obviously you've got to choose whether you want the uh, position mode or the speed mode.